Gears, primary uh, skills deal 27 and a half thousand percent increased damage. Oh my god, they buffed it 12.5 damage. What's up, everybody? Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, today, Blizzard has finally released. Uh, the patch notes for season 28 they released about seven hours ago six hours ago or so I know I really wanted to report this as soon as it got out but we you know we work we work a full-time job guys so but I'm bringing you the news now so let's just hop right into it okay so season rights uh rights of sanctuary review this came out earlier today so for this is the big this is probably the biggest part is that it goes live february 24th at 5 p.m pst so that is on a friday pst time which is awesome february 24th i actually thought this was going to be pushed into march but it's not uh but we got hey mark your calendars guys february 24th at 5 p.m pst the new season hits so we're going to go over all of this briefly i don't want to make the video too long for you guys but let's get right into this we already know about the theme so the developer note is our aim on the season's theme was to enhance uh the journey players experience each season giving them materials to make everything meaningful, meaningful choices and etc i think this is really just a blowout because it's technically the last season before diablo 4 so season cosmetic rewards this is awesome we got a brand new primal hunter portrait and a was it tanian tanian the tiny pet which is looks like a little wyvern dragon with the same wings that you get from the pre-order bonus of diablo 4 which is awesome so you get these upon your uh seasonal seasonal journey rewards that's great uh seasonal journey rewards they have all this in here um you can use the canaius cube uh canaius cube reforge legendary item the seasonal conquest this is this is one i know a lot of people talk about each season because uh conquests are typically you know the last ones that you really need to complete and i know some people struggle with these so let's look at them uh speed demon and need for speed hardcore complete a max level uh t10 in two minutes that's pretty easy um on a good day i can't stop hardcore level three uh gem 65 pretty easy boss mode and worlds apart kill the following bosses at max level on t uh, tx within 20 minutes of the start game curses all stars align kill 350 more monsters at a cursed chest on t10 or higher and then years of war reach greater lift rift level 55 solo without the bonuses of six of the following class sets so these are pretty actually easy i think they made these easy on purpose guys so that way we have all the other stuff to do in the game but like years of war is pretty easy the speed demon one's pretty easy and then on a good day leveling gems all pretty easy conquest this season actually big dub not too bad the hadrons gifts we already know that all the sets here you got poj gears uh savages um typhons with the hydras uh and then of course fist of the heavens uh then you got what burning crusader and then i don't remember what the uh witch doctor one is because nobody cares about witch doctors yeah uh but witch doctor mundugus which is actually really cool so uh let's get into the patch notes the juicy patch notes where everybody wants to see uh we got the patch notes for this uh so season 28 we got that so we know about the seals and everything all this so let's look at the changes so nothing has changed so far let's get to l they buffed it to 20 percent instead of 10 percent p progress orbs from greater rifts are automatically picked up but they changed it to automatically picked up within 60 yards actually still a dub you should be able to pick these up pretty fast anyway uh r is 30 percent damage instead of 15 so that's not bad and then potions a and c it used to be when you drink your health potion you gain a random, random shine or pylon effect but now when you drink it you, you gain a random shrine or the dimensional power pylon so let's see we wanted the seasonal theme to be powerful but the conduit pylon completely broke the game true uh so we made adjustments to keep the power level high while having the character's progression still matter so you get one of the 16 dimensional power uh dimensional power pylon so that's nice i mean it's still going to be very very strong when you pop your potions but not getting conduit and just changing that a little bit it, it needed to happen because using the conduit power and uh you know the ptr it was just so strong i mean you just ripped through things uh we know how that stuff is unlocked guys you should know that by now uh let's scroll down so let's see cost to unlock so we already they already mentioned that they were going to change never ending questions so now it's four tomb of the set dungeon pages from your class see the chart below so completing the sacrifice does so for all other classes on your account so as long as you do this with one class with four different ones you'll be able to do it you'll just have it 
So we agree that obtaining never-ending questions was more difficult than desired, so we decided to direct players to collect the ne necessary sets to enter set dungeons and provide proof at the Altar of Rights. So these are the ones that you're going to need per class. Big change because never-ending questions was a big worry in the PTR, guys. So this is a big change. It does make it slightly easier, so uh, it won't be that hard because if you get stuck on unlocking, you won't be able to complete the Altar, which is what we all want for the season. So... Uh, that's a good change. Of course, we got the uh, the uh, wings, the terror uh, cosmetics, which is really cool. I think that's a really cool cosmetic to have. All right, the primordial ash features. This hasn't changed, so all this is the same as last time. Bug fixes. Uh, all that was changed. Okay, so let's look at the skill changes and stuff for the classes that are coming in. So it looks like monk. Nothing changed from the PTR, which is pretty cool. Um, although none of them were really too overwhelming at all, but it did make uh, some changes for the monk a little bit better. So no changes here for the monk. Let's go to item changes. So horde of the 90 savages, this stayed at 2000 from 1000. So that didn't change, kind of a bummer. All right, now here, let's get into the juice. Let's see if they actually changed demon hunter. So the spike traps lure enemies. So that didn't change. The demon demise didn't change. Natalia Slayer didn't change. So here we go. Uh, vengeance, two piece bonus. It used to be uh, hitting on your action bar, the spike detonate and resource discipline. Now spike traps deal 100% increased damage to enemies affected by caltrops. Hmm. Spike trap now instantly refreshes charges on use. No longer costs resources and each detonation restores two discipline. Okay, so it looks like they're changing this from spin to win, which is a big dub. Four piece. Uh, spike trap explosions will blast affected enemies towards the nearest set of caltrops. Laying a spike trap grants 75% damage reduction, which is huge. Uh, the duration of this bonus is always equal to the number of traps laid. And then spike traps deal 10,000% 10, 10, increased damage and each consecutive explosion from the detonated change reaction will deal 25% more. So they made it stronger, developer notes. After listening to the community's feedback about N Natalia changes, we wanted uh, to move Natalia's away from Gears of Dreadlands. Big dub Blizzard, giving it, un uh, it uniquely, or giving it a unique identity. We hope Natalia's playstyle gives players more control over the explosions they set off while navigating the battlefield. Big dub i'm actually really really curious to see how this is going to work out it's going to be a big dub for um demon hunters there in blizzard big change i like that because uh, people are kind of overspin to win gears primary uh, skills deal 27 and a half thousand percent increased damage oh my god they buffed it 12.5 damage Oh my God, we were hoping that Gears got a buff and it did, and this is amazing. Developers note, we take a, we've take taken away the strafe ability on Natalia's, but we still want to support players enjoying the strafe builds. This is the only one and it's amazing. With it being uh, Hadred's Gift, big dub. Oh my God, you're gonna be able to farm everything with this set. Oh, we're playing Demon Hunter this season, guys, sorry. With this buff, I was considering playing Monk or something else, but with or even Hydra's, but Oh my god, we're going to be playing everything, but I think our main one, we're going to go back to Gears. Holy crap. Uh, nothing changed on Shadow Mantle and on Hollowed Essence. Nothing changed for Patterns of Justice or Necromancer. Ooh, Witch Doctor. Here we go. Summon a Spectre uh, that deals 14,000 increased damage instead of 6. Developer note. Witch Doctors have S-tier solo builds, but their farming builds aren't as easy to play as other classes. True. To help, we've buffed the Man uh, Manitou Rune and on Spirit Barrage. It would hope give players improved speed farming uh, while over also buffering one of their best solo pushing builds. Wow, big dub because Mondugus is the best like fast one that they have. It always has been for the longest time. So big dub for Witch Doctors. Holy crap. And then Wizards, nothing changes here. Okay, guys, that is the patch notes for Season 28. Big dub changes here on Natalia's and Gears. Big dub changes on Witch Doctor. Huge. Love that. And I actually love the change here for Never Ending Questions. I actually like that. And then, of course, the changes for the potions. Really strong. All these other ones are kind of just meh. I know that it says in here that they've changed some to, to compensate for not getting conduit. But it doesn't matter. You're going to be OP. This, every character is going to be OP this season anyway. So, big dub changes. Love the 
rewards, all that stuff. Season 28 is going to be a complete blast fest for Diablo fans and Diablo 3 players uh, leading up to Diablo 4. And I can't wait to play it, guys. One week uh, from today, I will see everybody on the game. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy Season 28. And I'm out. Peace.